Text Meat Pieces, which filled this gallery, were the artist's first commercially successful works. Their impact is visceral. Oozing with blood, encrusted with globs of fat, they are difficult to look at. The works were inspired by Tech's trip to the catacombs in Sicily. Ed Burns reads Tech's description from a 1966 interview. There are 8,000 corpses, not skeletons, corpses, decorating the walls, and the corridors are filled with windowed coffins. I opened one and picked up what I thought was a piece of paper. It was a piece of dried thigh. I felt strangely relieved and free. It delighted me that bodies could be used to decorate a room, like flowers. We accept our thingness intellectually, but the emotional acceptance of it can be a joy. The relationship between body and spirit haunted Tech. He was gay and grew up in a church that associated the physical body and homosexuality in particular with sin. These works are very much about Tech's desire to accept his own physicality, or thingness, as he put it. His friend Ann Wilson wrote that, quote, The Catholic education of our generation held sway over every instant of our lives. Paul experienced sexuality as an arena of struggle. Themes of sexuality, flesh, mutilation, and death recur in his work again and again. Tech crafted his meat pieces with exceptional skill. Conservators at the Whitney have determined his basic technique. He began by covering a wire mesh core with beeswax, colored with oil paint. He sculpted the wax, adding materials such as nylon thread for hair and tiny glass beads to achieve a globular texture. Thin layers of Deglo paint and glossy resin make the meat look juicy. For this piece, he added large flies special ordered from Africa.